Chu here. Today we'll be making mafe. So let's get to it. It's what? How was your week? Sounds amazing. My week, my week was good. So to kick off the cold month of December, we will be making a warm, hearty stew. But not just any type of stew. It's a peanut slash peanut butter stew called mafe. Mafe is a West African dish that originated in Mali and spread across the region into Senegal and Gambia. I'm a historian now. <laughs> And this peanut butter slash peanut stew is traditionally made with beef or lamb. I will be using chicken, chicken thighs. Enough of our TED talk. I got a brand new jar of smooth peanut butter on sale. So let's, let's open it up, okay? So now we're just gonna go ahead and start marinating the chicken. Got some chicken thighs, skinless, boneless. I was gonna say sconeless. And we're just gonna chop them up with some kitchen shears. Some garlic, some ginger. Some cayenne pepper, red chili flakes, and some salt and pepper. Then we're gonna do a little mixy mix. We're gonna do a little mixy mix. Gotta add more spice. And we're gonna put it in the fridge as we make the other stuff. Okay, as you can see here, there's a little situation going on. As I turned off my camera, the camera fell. So, look at this gorgeous camera. This is a good lesson to be learned, you know? Not everything in life will happen the way you want it, and not everything will be perfect because we are human and we are not invincible. So errors like this will happen. We just have to go with the flow. <laughs> I sort of sound sad right now. We have to go with the flow, okay? Hope you guys understand. <laughs> All right, so let's see how good my filming skills are with this iPhone. We got one carrot and we're just gonna chop it diagonal chunks just to make it a little fancy you know all right now we got two potatoes and we're just gonna chop them into one inch cubes we got our dutch oven we're gonna turn on the heat to medium. Now we're gonna add our chicken. Mmm, very fragrant smell. All right, now we're gonna add some more oil and add our onion. And we're just gonna saute this for a couple minutes until the onion is translucent. All right, after the onions are nice and aromatic, we're gonna add half a can of tomato paste. We're going to keep stirring this tomato paste till it's a bit more dark and caramelized. Now, we will add a secret ingredient, fish sauce. And the reason why we add fish sauce is because the traditional dish uses smoked dried fish 
and that is not as easily accessible as fish sauce in Lukaci's kitchen. So we will use fish sauce to replicate that deep umami flavor that the traditional dish uses. There's so many different aromas coming from this pot. All right, now we got some chicken bouillon. And we got some water. And we're just gonna mix it up. You know this trend of like natural peanut butter? I feel like I still like the normal peanut butter. Incorporate the peanut butter with the broth. And the peanut sauce. potatoes and our carrots and last but not least a bay leaf now we're just gonna cover it up and we're just going to wait a couple minutes until the potatoes and the carrots are cooked through could be 20 minutes to half an hour as we're waiting for the mafe to cook let's make some hot cocoa and we are going to make it from scratch with this beautiful cocoa powder, hot cocoa powder. Let's just add some lactose-free milk. Fun fact, this microwave is probably older than you. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Okay, let's get back to the cooking. All right, let's check on it. You can see the oil separation. That's what we want. Make sure it doesn't stick to the bottom. All right, so it's been simmering for around 20 minutes now. I believe the sauce has thickened up quite a bit. Look at the beautiful oils, right? And we're gonna start plating. Top it off with some cilantro, and we are fini. All right, so this is the finished product. And let's begin the taste test. And I'm super excited. Since I do not have a viewfinder on this phone, I will have to estimate where the camera is pointing at. Look at that, gorgeous. First bites for you, mm, nom nom nom. That is so hearty and warm and cozy. This is the most amazing thing ever. The peanut butter taste isn't very prominent. So if you're worried that it just tastes like peanut butter with chicken, don't worry, it doesn't taste like peanut butter with chicken. You can taste a slight hint of peanuts, you know? 
I also get a very strong kick of spice. Got a nice tanginess from the tomato. All the flavors in this balance out so well. Mmm! And the potato with the carrots, very tender and soft. Everything just melts in your mouth, the chicken. There's different ways to cook mafe. So some people like it more watery, like a soup, so you don't need to eat it with rice. I like it thicker, so it's more gravy-like. And if you're wondering, no, I cannot taste the fish sauce, but I do feel that this dish has so much more depth with the fish sauce added because it gives a nice savory flavor. It's hard to explain. There's literally flavor in every bite. All right, so this gets like a juice stamp of approval and I would totally make this again. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I post once a week. And I'll see you guys.